the day we will be replacing the display assembly on the iPhone XR. Be sure to use the works repair mat to keep screws organized. Some screws have the same sized head but contain different lengths and can be easily misidentified during reassembly. Required tools. Anti-static mat, anti-static wristband, iPhone XR repair mat, heating pad, magnetizer, suction cup, spudger, plastic opening tool, pentalobe, phillips, and tri-point screwdrivers, and safety glasses. Wear safety glasses to protect your eyes from any glass shaken free during the repair. Always wear the anti-static wrist strap when repairing a device. This will prevent static charges from being discharged onto the device's logic board, which will cause irreversible damage to the device. Be sure that the works repair mat is located above your work surface. Before you start your repair, be sure that the device is powered off. To power off the iPhone XR, hold the volume down and power button at the same time until the slide to power off option appears. With your pentalobe screwdriver, remove the bottom two screws from the device. Place each screw in the correct area of the works repair mat. Power on your heating pad and set to 75 degrees Celsius. The iPhone XR screen is held onto the device with a strong adhesive. Place the device onto the heating pad for approximately 2 minutes. This should be enough time to loosen the adhesive under the screen. Remove the device from the heating pad. Holding the device with the charge port up, press the suction cup onto the bottom left corner of the device. While holding the device with one hand, pull up on the suction cup with your thumb to slightly separate the front panel assembly from the rear case. With a plastic opening tool, starting on the bottom left corner of the device, to avoid damaging any flex cables, insert and gently pry the screen away from the frame. With the device pried open, use the flat end of your black spudger to help you separate the screen away from the display. Use extreme caution when opening along the right hand side of the device as the display assembly cables are located here. Reheat on heating pad as resistance increases. Lift the display assembly from the left hand side to open to the right. Once the device is open, check for any liquid damage or corrosion in these locations. If there is any signs of liquid damage or corrosion, the device has encountered damaging amounts of liquid and should not be repaired. Do not lay the screen flat. This flex cable is critical to the iPhone XR's sensor functions. Rotate the device into a horizontal layout. Carefully shift the display to the left about half an inch to an inch to reveal screws laying under the display flex cables. Remove the following three tri-point screws securing the battery flex cable bracket. Be sure to place each screw on the correct space of the works repair mat. Remove the battery flex bracket from the logic board. Use the pointed end of the plastic spudger to disconnect the battery flex cable. This will ensure the device is powered off and will not power on during the remainder of the repair. Apply as little pressure as possible to ensure the connector is not damaged. Shift the display assembly back into place, relieving the tension on the flex cables. Next, remove the two tri-point screws securing the display assembly flex cable bracket. Place each screw on the correct space of the works repair mat. With the plastic spudger, remove the display assembly flex cable bracket from the logic board. Using the flat end of a plastic spudger, disconnect both the digitizer and LCD flex cable connectors. 
Next, remove the following five screws, securing the earpiece sensor flex cable bracket. The first three screws are tri-point screws. The other two screws are Phillips screws. As these screws are different sizes, place them on the correct spot of the works repair mat. Remove the rear camera grounding bracket from the logic board. Next, remove the earpiece sensor flex cable bracket from the logic board. With the flat end of a plastic spudger, disconnect the earpiece sensor flex cable from the logic board. Rotate the device into a vertical layout and carefully remove the display assembly from the housing. With the plastic spudger, remove any lifted adhesive from the edge of the frame. Remove the following four screws securing the ear speaker sensor assembly to the screen. The first three screws are Phillips screws. The last screw is a tri-point screw. Each of these screws are different sizes. Be sure they are placed on the correct space of the works repair mat. Place the screen back onto the heating pad for one minute. This will help loosen the adhesive holding the ear speaker sensor assembly to the screen. Remove the display assembly from the heating pad. Gently pry the flex cable away from the adhesive using the flat end of your plastic spudger. On the iPhone XR, there is a small silver grounding pin located on top of the ambient light sensor. Use extreme caution when removing the ear speaker sensor assembly. Damaging the flex cable will permanently damage the face ID function of the device. Next, remove the new display assembly from its packaging. Be sure to not discard the frame adhesive included in this packaging. Carefully remove the small piece of tape securing the display flex cables to the screen. Next, remove the small blue plastics attached to the flex cables. Next, remove the small plastics on the bottom of the screen. Remove the top piece of blue plastic from the display assembly. Reinstall the ear speaker sensor assembly. Be sure that the three sensors are properly seated into the holder connected to the display assembly. 
Remember to reinstall the silver grounding pin on top of the ambient light sensor. Reinstall the screws into their proper post. Locate the frame adhesive that was included with the new display assembly. Move the blue plastic backing from the frame adhesive. This is signified by a pull tab. Easily match the orientation of the adhesive to the frame by the assembly cutouts. Use the flat end of a plastic spudger to help apply pressure evenly to seat the new adhesive. Remove the top layer of blue plastic of the frame adhesive. Remove the yellow rubber piece protecting the pentalobe screw brackets on the bottom of the display assembly. Now we will reconnect the earpiece sensor flex connector to the logic board. Next we will reconnect the LCD and digitizer flex connectors to the logic board. Place the earpiece sensor flex cable bracket back onto the logic board. Install the five screws that secure the earpiece sensor flex cable bracket into place following the screw layout on the works repair mat. Place the display assembly flex cable bracket back onto the logic board. Secure the display assembly flex cable bracket to the logic board using the two tri-point screws following the screw layout on your works repair mat. Remove the remaining blue plastic from the back of the display. Reconnect the battery flex cable connector to the logic board. Carefully shift the display assembly to the left about half an inch to an inch. Place the battery flex cable bracket back onto the logic board. Secure the battery flex cable bracket back to the logic board using the three tri-point screws following the screw layout on your works repair mat. Yeah. 
make sure the top clips of the display assembly are properly aligned with the frame. Carefully adjust the clips with as little pressure as possible if they are misaligned. Once the top edge of the screen is flush with the frame, run your thumbs down each side of the device pressing the screen firmly into place. Install the two pentalobe screws on the bottom of the device next to the lightning connector. Turn on and test the device. Contact Works for any questions related to this repair.